Hey guys, it's me, Tantacles. As someone who's been playing Chrono Cross for over 20 years, I wanted to give you some tips and tricks to help you get through the game. While it definitely doesn't have a Dark Souls level of difficulty, it can be tough to wrap your head around some of the intricacies of the battle system. Just as a warning, there may be some light spoilers in this game just based on which characters I'm using. Before I start though, if you enjoy Chrono Cross content, please use Ultra Nova on the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a goal of reaching a thousand followers so that YouTube will pay me to make Chrono Cross content. Content. I need your help to make that happen. Every video I make is absolutely free to you and I would really appreciate that small favor. Also, there's a link to my Twitch in the video's description. All right, so let's jump right into it. Tip number one, use the stamina system wisely. In Chrono Cross, each of your characters starts off the battle with seven stamina. After using a level one, two, or three attack, your character loses one, two, or three stamina respectively. Now in contrast to that, when you use an element or a spell, it will cost seven stamina. However, unlike with attacks, characters can use a spell if they have only one stamina point left, and they can bring their stamina points into the negative by casting elements. What this means is that you can attack, get your stamina all the way down to one, and then immediately cast an element. This will allow your character to do a ton of damage, and then your other characters can attack and allow that character to regain the stamina they lost. Tip number two, defend can be spammed. You may find at some point that all of your characters are low on stamina. However, you're worried that you might be one-shotted by an upcoming enemy attack. Fortunately, you can use the defend command to help your characters recover stamina safely. Every time you defend, all of your characters will recover one stamina. If all of your characters that have an available action defend, the enemy will immediately attack. However, if you have only one character defend, you can continually defend with that character and have all of your other characters regain stamina. Notice how only Surge is defending in this clip, but Pashal is still available for an attack. Abuse this mechanic, it's really useful. Tip number three, know when to retreat. Chrono Cross allows you to run away from every single battle in the game with 100% success. Yes, every single one. Random encounters, boss battles, even the final boss. So if you find yourself in a position, say where two of your characters are dead and the third one is at low health, you can run away, heal up, re-equip all of your elements and equipment and try again. Also, and this is perhaps even more important, if you notice that the enemy uses a trappable element, a level five, six or seven element, you can run away, equip the appropriate trap element and then trap the element from the enemy, preventing them from doing damage and getting that element for your own team in the process. Tip number four, have copies of all of the trap elements available at all times. If you're playing without a guide, you never know which enemies are going to cast elements that you can trap. Using a trap allows you to capture the element and use it in another battle and also prevents that trapped element from doing damage to you. All level five, six, and seven elements are trappable, and with the exception of the unicorn element, uh, you can see my white element tier list for more information on why it's crap, it is worthwhile to trap multiple copies of all of these elements. So at minimum, I would recommend that once you have access to Marbule's trap element shop, you purchase at least two traps of each level five and level six element. If you notice an enemy cast that element, run away, equip the relevant trap element, and try to capture it from the enemy. Soon I will be making a video on how to trap all of the trappable elements, so look out for a link to that in the description when I'm done. Tip number five, pay attention to the element field effect. The field effect in Chrono Cross is extremely important. If the field effect color matches the unit who is attacking or the element being cast, that unit or element does more damage. If it is the opposite color, that unit or element does less damage, a lot less damage. If you want more information about this, I made an extensive guide about element damage and field effect that I will link above and expect a video about field effect and physical attack damage soon as well. Tip number six. Upgrade your weapons. Your weapons determine a lot of your attack power in Chrono Cross, and even the most powerful weapons, the rainbow weapons, can be carried over into New Game Plus, where you keep just about all of your equipment and items. Upgrading your weapons will allow you to kill enemies faster and avoid death. All of your elements can only be used once in a battle, so you can very easily run out of healing elements if your battles go on for too long, so doing more damage and ending battles quickly is really important. Tip number seven. Steal. Three characters in the game have access to stealing abilities and two of them are required characters, so it's in your best interest to steal from most enemies you encounter, especially bosses. 
Enemies can give you advanced equipment materials, powerful elements, and even armor that allows you to absorb elemental damage and can save your butt. So steal from everything. Tip number eight, fill up your element grid with a variety of elements. Elements in battle, with exception of consumable elements, can be used only once each battle. So it's in your best interest to fill up every slot of your element grid with a variety of elements and element colors. In particular, I would recommend equipping several healing elements to each character, equipping all revive elements you have access to, and equipping damaging elements to almost all other spaces if you've never played this game before. This will allow you to do more damage and gain control control of the field effect more easily, which will let you do more damage and make the enemy do less. Tip number nine, always say no to kid. I cannot tell you why this tip is important because of spoilers, but please, for your own sake, say no to kid every single time she asks you a question. It's not bad to say yes, it's just not good. I promise you will see why as you play the game. Tip number 10, Keep your party's HP as high as possible. If you notice someone's health is below 50%, especially in a boss battle, heal them immediately. Bosses often have elements that can one-shot your party if they're below half HP. Tip number 11, save some element levels for the end of battles. Chrono Cross has a convenient mechanism whereby you can use your leftover element levels to heal after a battle, but if you've used all of your elements, you have to use your consumable elements after battle. And that's fine, they work well, but regular elements recharge after battles are done, so it's much more convenient to save your money, which can actually get tight later in the game, and just click that heal all without using consumables button after a battle. You'll thank me later. I hope you're all loving the Chrono Cross Remaster as much as I am. If you have other tips that you think I missed, please leave a comment below and I'll be making an advanced tips guide later. See you in the next video. I'm Tantocles and have a wonderful day.